Popular social media sensation Oye Mike has started a conversation regarding Fireboy's identity. Take a look at what he said. What I'm saying now, I've been meaning to say for the past three weeks, I've called a couple friends, but I didn't know how it would get to you and Bado, so I didn't want to say it. Fireboy, right now you are arguably one of the most talented Nigerians out there. No doubt you have one of the biggest albums out of Nigeria right now, brother. But brother, I don't know what you look like. Look at this video, see? I don't even know who shoots your video. They don't show me your face, bro. Your songs are doing better than your face. Your face should match your songs, bro. When I was in Nigeria, I couldn't stop. I was like, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Till now, I can't say this is what Fireboy looks like, oh. Because I don't know. You are like five other guys in that industry. Have the same hair. I don't know yours that fast. Oh, they did not die anywhere. But me, I'm different, though. Find a way, bro. I need to differentiate you from these other boys. Your talent is unique. You are great. I just need to know what you look like, bro. Take pictures. Let your camera then show your face. Take pictures. Let your camera show your face. What's your take on this one? Um, well, I feel like it is not absolutely necessary to put a face to a brand. I think if so the too. brand is doing well, given the kind of content that the talent is speaking for. Mm. Yeah. I mean we had and that for could a be his... very long time I never knew who Sia was. Yeah. And that could be your brand. That could not, be having, your brand not having uh, uh, a brand. Uh, you're not but I'm not quite face. sure if this is what he is trying to achieve because I think with that video he you... was definitely trying to achieve that. He okay. doesn't really show his face. This is my take and it okay. kind of sounds mean. Okay. Mm -hmm. so. Um I don't think he's the most attractive. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. True that. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. fire boy. Yeah. Of course. I don't really? think it's the most attractive. And when you're not really like that, it's always that hiding face with the hair and like, you know, side views thing going wow. on. Mm -hmm. People always do that. A good example is um, the American guy. I always confuse Travis Scott with the other person. He's Kylie Jenner's baby daddy. Okay. What's his name? Um, no, the, um, hold on. I don't Travis know. And, Is it Travis Scott? I think so. Yeah, Travis Scott yeah, is Kylie's yeah, baby yes. daddy. He's a, a good example of that. He's not attractive at all. And he knows that. So he does this whole... Even when he's taking pictures, he's like... <laughs> hiding his face. He's swagging it. So it's, I, I think that's... I, I feel like that's the vibe he's giving me. But we know his face. His album is literally a picture of his face. We know what he looks like. I just don't think he push it, pushes it out. And a lot of people are giving examples and comparing it with Rema. But exactly my point is Rema is quite like a cute baby face thing going on. And I don't think wow. what do you think he really has okay, that. Okay, so to me, I don't know what William Mike is about. Because um, Fireboy's face is out there. Everyone knows who Fireboy is. Fireboy is that Durag guy. Not everyone, if you're you okay. really I've the never, word everyone. I've never, I've never seen, I don't know until who I downloaded Fireboy's really. Fire really. music like, on okay, okay, maybe because Yeah, I follow Fireboy, so maybe yeah. only Mike needs to follow Fireboy. You don't need to follow someone to you, know their if you, face, if you though. Go, if you go on his okay, Instagram, so that's Fireboy. If you go on his Instagram page, he posts a lot. I've never seen him in Durag. He's always done. That's he said. He, it's it's a deliberate thing he said okay ever since he attained stardom that the only thing he needs to do for him to walk on the street to go and get a while going you understand like and people would not know is to take off the durag he and looks then when he has every picture i, do I still like, don't know his face like i don't think i would be able to see fireboy and like except he does the exact same pose he did on his on his cover i won't be able to say that 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 is fireboy yeah, i would not be able to do the, that that's i think th that's you know, on this picture it's still like side angle by the time he puts his face to the front it looks like a different person it looks like mm. a different person with each hairstyle well i oh, really that's, don't that's agree cute. what your mind is saying because i think um fireboy's face is all right let's music. i think and let's done take, a lot of um, interviews as well that, really yeah, okay. that is Let's take is social there. media reactions on this one. Um, he, I think this conversation trended for the whole day yesterday. At Akot, Ak is it accotainment now or accotainment? I don't know. But he says, I think what we Mike is simply saying is that when it comes to personality, Fireboy isn't really carrying everyone along. You are a celebrity and part of being one is letting your fans into your personal life at times. That's why you are a hashtag public figure. At Solomon Ford says, few, day, few days 
days ago, Olamide and Fireboy signed a joint venture deal with American music company Empire Distribution. Empire mm. is a San Francisco-based distribution company founded by Gazi Shami. Only intellectual paralyzed person will say why BNL isn't branding Fireboy. Okay, okay that was... You know. Was he talking about branding or was he talking about his face? Mm. Because branding, I think he has. He mm. has strong music presence. He has a niche. You can almost tell. For, even his music videos are all like curated kind of differently. I think he has a brand. And I don't think that's what... He, I don't think that's what... Um, what you might be saying. Because so you your say, brand isn't necessarily your face. I might mm. not know your face, but you have a good brand. So you guys okay. say when you watch his videos, you can't see his face? It's not well, very... It's not the focus. take more reactions. Mm. At mm. Mr. Man here underscore says... <clears throat> Oye Mike told the truth about Fireboy and him not having an image of his own. For someone with one of the hottest albums in Nigeria, he's doing a poor job selling his brand. Eight in ten Nigerians would not recognize Fireboy mm. if he walked past them, and that's where he really needs to fix up. Um, at Jamal Hussein says, if you know nothing about brand identity, facial expression, poses and celebrity charisma, you might never understand this. Fireboy's team might not have noticed this, but it's actually a thing, and most Nigerian artists always miss it. At um, Obong Ovriel, uh, Roviel, what he said is the truth. Fireboy needs to better needs better branding. A friend keeps confusing him with Joe Boy. Same mm -hmm. thing happens to some influencers here. We know your tweets. We don't know what you look like. I think that's a shade for the Twitter influencers. And then at Yemi Hazan says, Fireboy just um, just blew last year and still adjusting to fame. Only a clown will expect him to portray an obvious identity this quick. Saying you can't recognize him is beyond laughable too. Even Olamide evolved with time in style and looks. Um, that's from Olamide to younger Ricky Nord than to Bado. You agree with that one? We've got Chidi Okereke joining us on the phone to share his perspective as a brand strategist. Chidi is the head of business at Devon Choi Copa. Um, hello, Chidi. Do you think it is absolutely necessary for Fireboy to have a clear personality attached to his brand? What is a clear personality? I think that's the, that's the most important question. For an artist, yeah? For someone whose primary primary job is to create music for us to listen to, what is a clear personality? Is it not the sound thing? Is it not the uniqueness of his voice? I feel like that's that's like the most important thing. And I, and I'll go back and I reference examples like um, who, who was it Adele back in the day? Adele was told different things about how she should change her look and all that and all that and all that, but she stuck to her roots. She stuck to the most important thing, which is her, her music, and that is what has made her who she is today. I understand the calls for, you know, trying to sound different from everybody else, trying to look different from everybody else, but this guy, this guy is less than two years in the industry and he's already come this far. Let's not put pressure on him to change who he is. Are we trying to make him different from who he is because we want him to stand out? I don't, I don't buy into that, to be honest. I don't. However, you know, we cannot deny that there is a constant confusion when figuring out who um, Fireboy is away from jo Joe Boy. Now, coming from that angle, do you think they need to work more on Fireboy's identity to make him stand out? Do I think he needs to work more on his identity? Um, now, if I were talking brands, yeah, if I'm talking from a brand perspective, I'll tell you, okay, so you could tweak this. He could um, be out there more. When I say be out there more, maybe post more on social media, you know, make skits, maybe do this, do that, you know, um, get on billboards, do something in the charity space, you know, basically do something that Joe Boy isn't doing. But then, this is a conversation I cannot have because I don't know Fireboy enough to know if he would thrive in these conditions. You understand? So, if people say they can't separate him from a Joe Boy, for, for example, then these people are not enthusiasts. Because his, his, his most popular videos, his most popular work, he has a space all over him, all over them, brother. He, he, has, he, has, a, he has a thriving social media account where he you know, actively engages people. If you want to see his pictures, go there. I thought his album cover was really, really um, bare. If you ask me, there wasn't a lot of design. It was simple. And now I understand why it was that simple. It was simple because it was just his face. Laughter, tears, goosebumps. It was just his face. If at this stage you've, you've, um, you've streamed his music, you've gotten his music, you've 
watch these YouTube videos, you follow him on social media, you can still say you don't know Fireboy. Okay, so from your perspective, would you say you see any sense in what, that's for lack of a better word, in what Oye Mike is trying to convey? So, again, yeah, this, as soon as I saw it, I felt, nah, this is, this is unnecessary, you know. Um, but then, I am somebody who likes learning, yeah, so I've listened to plenty of feedback, I've seen all the arguments about it, and why I still feel like it's a non-issue. I work in brands, I work in communications, why I still feel like it's a non-issue, yeah. I do see why people would say that. Because even though I can separate Joe Way from Fireboy and Fireboy from all the other new artists with dreadlocks and all that, if many people are saying, or if few people are saying they can't, that means there is a problem or there is a challenge or there's something that could be fixed. Yeah? So what he said, while I might not agree with you totally, there is an argument there. Again, this is a conversation I can have if I have had a conversation with Fireboy and why BNL uh, to understand what the direction is. Now you talk about you talk about um, um, face, you talk about identity. Fine. Not everybody not everybody not everybody's face is obvious. So I mean most music is bigger than them, which is also fantastic. I d I don't think I know what CR looks like. Mm. But then she has an identity which is fine. Nobody knows what Lagbaja looks like till today. So you can walk, walk, walk across anywhere. And, you know, sometimes these artists want to be so big, but then they still want to maintain some privacy. They want to be able to disguise themselves, you know, walk the streets and walk the walls. It helps to mental health. It helps to clear in their heads. So in the end, at the end of the day, we need to ask Fireboy. People need to ask Fireboy, what do you really want out of this? Do you want to be a pop star whose, whose face is all over the place? Or do you want to be able to have some time to yourself too? Hmm. I like that he's um, particularly about what Fireboy wants, mm. not what everybody wants. So does he want to have his face all over? He wants to maintain a level of privacy. And I think um, this conversation is now left to Fireboy and yeah. his team to know if they're fine with what they have now or they want more. Yeah, because either way, it's good. Like, we don't have to know your face. And if we do know your face, it's also like each 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 path, path that they take has an advantage and a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. So it's really up to him. But if you're not a big fan and you're not following him on social media and every post that he makes, you would have, you would understand where uh, Oye Mike is coming from. But if you do, then you wouldn't see an argument to it. So I feel like he's not completely mischievous. Like if you actually wanted to know what he looks like, I'm just not going to take my time to do that. I just found his music like recently. Yeah. So, um, but if I become a fan and I want to search, I feel like he would know what he looks like, but he's not put, putting it in your face. Well, um, I think Chidi Okereke has done um, justice to this conversation because he said everything I was thinking and um, if, like he said, he would be able to differentiate Fireboy, but when he went in, with the reactions we saw now, there's still a lot of people that agree to what Oye Mike is saying. So because um, of what those people have said, we cannot actually push it aside and be like, okay, Oye Mike doesn't have a point. But like you rightly said, some of us follow him, so we know what it looks like. If I see Fireboy coming like a mile away, I'll be able to tell like, oh, yo, that's Fireboy. Do you understand? But not everybody can do that. Do you understand? So I think it's, it's a balanced equation right now. So he's left to his team to decide whether, okay, we want his face out there. And if it's a strategy for the sound to go farther than his face, and then when you get used to the sound, then we'll bring out the face of Fireboy. Then all well and good. I think every artist evolved from one thing. And some people have very um, recognizable faces, and some don't, do you understand? Like, I see a lot of people like I met just once, and then the next time they see me, they're like, oh, yo, and I'm trying to remember, like, where did I know you from? Do you get what I mean? So, they're, they're, it's not everybody that has that face that you can just... But as a bad guy, you have that face. So people just, like, remember you. I just saw that flex, but okay. <laughs>